persone che si attenzia un po' tra 5 e 10 per nord, proprio a causa del tempo instabile sul 90 per il sud. Oggi maltempo forte al nord-est sul versante tirrenico, vi confermiamo l'allerta rossa per il Lazio, allerta arancione per Umbria, Toscana e Campania. Test. Banker in planning, banker planning. Due to all the above spillage scores, bankering operations should be carefully planned and executed in accordance with Marvel regulations. Pollution caused when heavy banker oil is split, is split, split in particular, is particularly damaging and difficult to clean up. Ships bankers normally consist of heavy fuel oils, which in general are highly viscous and persistent, and therefore a relatively small quantity of high persistent banker fuel can be disproportionately damaging and costly to remove in comparison. Therefore, it is important to understand and organize every step of the operation, while being proactive in management is essential. Personnel involved in the bankering operation on board should have no other tasks and should remain at their workstations during topping off. This is particularly important when bankers are being loaded concurrent with cargo operations in order to avoid conflicts of interest for operational personnel. Villages often occur when staff are, are distracted by another task. It is necessary that the banker plan is produced, which should be detailed and carefully considered. The procedures should ensure, should, should ensure that the risks associated with the operation have been assessed and that controls are in place to mitigate these risks. The procedures should also address contingency arrangements in order in the event of a spill. A good banker plan should include an accurate summary of the different quantities and grades of fuel to be supplied, a plan of which banker tanks are to be filled, which must also include the type and quantity assigned to each tank and the maximum filling volumes. A schematic diagram of the banker system and proper valve line up. The filling sequence and the required pumping rate, including initial, maximum, and topping off rate. An indication of the safety margin or slack space to be left in each tank. For example, no tank is to be more than 90% full. Soundings of each tank 
prior to the commencement of banking and the, expending, the expected sounding eulogies on completion. The method of sounding and or eulaging which can be stipulated to avoid confusion. Details of who is in overall charge of the operation, this is usually the chief engineer, and it should, and it should also indicate who else is involved in their respective duties. Emergency procedures and contacts, testing of high-level alarms, setting in the fuel oil tanks, or a substitute means in case alarms are not provided, proper identification and markings of the valves on the bunker lines, while procedures for changing over tanks during the bunker, vessel stability drafts, trim and list during the various stages of bunkering, while finally manning requirements to execute the operation safely. The chief engineer should formalize the bunker plan by holding a toolbox talk with tech and engineering department personnel involved. The plan should be discussed and confirmation shout that all of the team fully understands the context of the role in the operation. The meeting should also review the bunker checklist and the risk assessment to ensure that all the identified controls are in place. Operations should only be undertaken by personnel familiar with the ship's banking system and procedures. Newly joined, joined personnel or those not familiar with all aspects of the operation should be accompanied as a part of an ongoing training and familiarization. As we said, division of uh, responsibilities among uh, the personnel is of paramount importance. So, some things should be firstly clarified. Before, before bunkering procedures initiate, operation instructions and responsibilities in relation to bunkering operations should be divided and delegated amongst personnel. First of all, the master is responsible for the supervision of the bunkering system and changing the bunkering plan. The chief officer should be responsible for deploying the pollution prevention equipment. The second and third officers are responsible for monitoring bunker operations as instructed by the chief officer and ensuring that the proper watch is maintained. The chief engineer is responsible for equipment, maintenance and advising the chief officer on the bunker transfer procedure. The deck watch is the person stationed by the host connection in order to check for kinking, chaffing or leakage. Moving, moving on, the pubman and ratings are responsible for bunker operations assistance as, requires, as required and supervised by the chief officer. It's important to divide the, the division of responsibilities. It's so important because there are examples of incidents occurring due to bad responsibility allocation or where the chief officer has delegated various responsible tasks to rating instead of the deck officer. For this reason, efficient allocation of responsibilities among the crew is an important prerequisite to ensure the secure and incident-free banker procedures. Completion of the bunkering planning should be ended with a notification form. And the bunkering notification form allows an applicant to inform the harbour master of the intended works to be undergone. All of the sections of the notification form should be completed. First of all, the notice form. This should contain the name of the applicant, the company and the company they work for the date and time of submitting the identification and contact phone numbers. Secondly, the notification form should include the statement of work to be done. This should contain full details of the vessel name, location at the time of the work will be carried out, date and time it is intended to carry out the work and the description of the, of the intended work. Thirdly, 
a notification includes a risk, as mess, a risk assessment where the applicant <coughs> should provide answers to all of the questions in this section on how, uh, on how risk assessment should be uh, undergone. Finally, notification form includes precautions to be in place where a full description of precautions that would be in place should be noted. On, the, on receipt of bankering operation notification from the Harbour Master's Office, the latter should also check and uh, undergo some steps. First of all, he should check that the form is correctly completed and that the provisions stated are adequate for the operation being carried out. If not, then he should contact an applicant and forbid bankering operation until the form is completed correctly and provisions stated are adequate. Secondly, the Harbour Master should enter the details in the bankering operations notification log at the front of the bankering notification file. If the work, if the work requires an audit, he should visit the site and complete an audit. He should also determine if there is any other reason the banking operation should not go ahead. If there is, then he should contact the applicant and forbid the banking operation. And he should start an investigation to determine uh, for which reason the, the operation should not go forward. Moving on, he should use the banking procedures risk matrix to establish whether a barge should be launched. And if such a and if such an occasion is um, has to be done, he should large he should launch a batch if required. Moving to the checklists. Once the banker planning procedure is produced and the banker notification note has been accepted by the harbor master, operations can commence. However, they should be implemented in accordance of a checklist. Checklists are an essential and useful tool for safe operations and if used correctly, they will help to prevent an accident. For this reason, for this reason then on behalf of and on behalf of both parties before the commencement of banking operations, specific issues should among others be agreed. They should agree in writing the handling procedures, including the maximum transfer rates. They should also agree in writing the action to be taken in the event of emergency during transfer operation. Finally, they should complete and sign the bankering safety checklist. The bankering safety checklist is based upon the shipshore safety checklist and the pre-transfer bankering checklist contained in the IMO publication recommendations on safe transport of dangerous cargoes and related activities in port areas. The checklist is primarily structured for loading bankers from a barge, but it, also but it is also suitable for use when uh, taking bankers from a jet or a tank from a tank or a jet. The bankering safety checklist uses statements assigning responsibility and accountability picking or initialing the appropriate box and finally signing the declaration confirms the acceptance of obligations. Once signed, this provides the minimum basis for safe operations as agreed through a mutual exchange of critical information. Some of the checklist statements are directed to considerations for which the ship has sole responsibility and accountability some for which the banker provider has sole responsibility and accountability and others which assign joint responsibility and accountability. Shaded boxes are used to identify statements that generally may be applicable to only one part, although the ship, the ship or the provider may take or initial such sections if they wish so. The assignment of responsibility and accountability it does not mean that the other party is excluded from carrying out checks 
in order to confirm compliance. The assignment of responsibility and accountability ensures clear, clear identification of the party responsible for initial and continued compliance throughout the transfer activity. The responsible officers completing, completing the checklist should be the people carrying out the banking operation. The vessel's responsible officers should personally check all considerations lying within the responsibility of the vessel. Similarly, the provider's responsible officer should personally check all considerations that are within the responsibility. In fulfilling their responsibilities, the responsible officers should assure themselves that the standards of safety on both sides of the operation are fully acceptable. The Bankering Safety Checklist contains the following section. Bankers to be transferred, bankers to be transferred, where it is a joint agreement on the quantity and grades of bankers to be transferred, <coughs> together with agreed transfer rates and the maximum line back pressures. Banker tanks to be loaded and where an identification of the tanks to be loaded with the aim of ensuring that there is sufficient space to safely accommodate the bankers to be transferred. Space is provided to record the each tank's maximum filling capacity and the available volume. Thirdly, checks by barge prior to berthing, where this section provides the checks to be carried out before the barge goes alongside the ship. While finally, we have the checks prior to transfer where this section provides the checks to be jointly undertaken before transfer activities commence. The safety of operations requires that all relevant statements are considered and the associated responsibility and accountability uh, for compliance is accepted. Where either party is not prepared and is not prepared to accept an assigned accountability, a comment must be made in the remarks column and due to and due consideration given the given to whether operations should proceed. Whether an item is agreed not to be not to be applicable to the ship, to the provider or to the operation envisaged, a note to the a note to that effect should be entered in the remarks column. The presence of the letters A or R a for agreement and R for a check in the code column indicates the following. A indicates an agreement or procedure that should be identified in the checklist or communicated in some other mutually accepted form. R for recheck indicates that timed items to be rechecked at appropriate intervals as agreed between both parties and stated in the declaration. The joint declaration should not be signed until all parties have checked and accepted their assigned responsibilities and accountabilities. Can we get the No. Can we get the other one? Okay, let's come on. Okay, we'll proceed. Uh, we we'll have a uh, 15 minute break and we'll come back with uh, to continue. Thank you.